Okay, so in this video, it's a, it's an important one. Um, now, groups are a really powerful way to engage with people in your niche, and you can find groups all over Facebook. But the really important thing is that most auto posting softwares via API, being the app that we set up, um, don't you're not allowed to do it anymore. You're not allowed to auto post into groups, which means that managing groups has become really difficult to be able to post into those groups has become really different. You have to kind of do it manually. Um, there are some bots that I, are, are able to do it, but you can't really look and see what your posting schedule is like, and you can't see what you're posting into certain groups. So the workaround is um, we've got a little setup that we can do using these couple of steps. Now, don't get overwhelmed. We've got a PDF for you to watch, and, and I want you to watch this video if you get caught up. Um, there's just a couple of steps we need to do, and you only need to do it once, and you're done. So once you've joined all the groups that we've given you, uh, or, or you've looked for groups in your niche, then you want to make sure that you're um, you're approved for all of those groups, and then we can pull those pull that data into uh, the system, and uh, you'll be able to auto post to them. Now you can manually upload them. There's no not saying that you can't do that, but this is just a really quick way because if you're part of a lot of groups, which which I am, uh, you need to be able to do it this way. So what we are going to do is you need Google Chrome. So you're going to have to download Google Chrome. There'll be a link below this video. Um, and so to use Google Chrome, the reason we do that is because it's got all these web apps that we can grab. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to Google Chrome and there's a little um, uh, sort of three lines and that pulls up a drop down menu. So you want to go over there and click on more tools and then you want to go to uh, extensions there. In the uh, in the pop-out menu, so when you click on that, it'll load up your extensions and all the extensions you've got acts um, you've got in your system. You want to click on more extensions, okay, and then you want to type in web w e b and scraper s c r a p e r, okay, and then hit enter. That's in the search bar on the left-hand side, and you'll see. Web Scraper here. Now you just click on Add It. Now it's already added into mine, but as soon as you hit Add It, it'll 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 load up and it'll be up here in the top right hand corner. Now that's done. Okay, so that step is completely finished. Um, so the next step is uh, we go over again to your drop down menu, and you want to go on to More Tools. So when you click on More Tools, you click on Developer Tools, and we click on Developer Tools. And what that does is it, it pops up this little um, code reader. Don't, don't get overwhelmed with it, okay? You just want to click on this, Web Scraper. Okay, so you click on Web Scraper. And what we've got to do is we have to go create new sitemap over here, and we go import sitemap. Okay, so you click on, there's a drop-down menu here. It's create new sitemap, import sitemap. Okay, so once you've hit that, um, I've given you a text file. Now, this text file is just a, a long string of code that you don't need to worry about. You just copy it and then you paste it, Control V, into there. Now your name is Sitemap. I'm going to call this Sitemap Jamie underscore FB underscore groups. Okay. And then we, that's what I'm naming because it it's mine. And then I click on Import Sitemap. Okay. So now that uh, Sitemap's been imported, um, the next step for us is to uh, click on, um, sorry, go over here, and we have got to go to Scrape, okay? Now you click on, so that's the sitemap here, and then you go the drop-down menu and click on Scrape, okay? So the numbers here need to match, so you click on 2000, okay? So both of those numbers are matching, okay? And you'll notice that I'm logged into Facebook. You must be logged into Facebook with the Facebook um, account that you set the app up with. Okay, so if you set the app up in, in your own personal name, then you need to go to the groups that are in your personal name. If you set it up in another profile, then you need to do that. Okay, and then we go start scraping. So what it's going to do now is it's going to grab all of my... Um, my Facebook groups, and you'll see that I now have um, a fairly extensive list of all the groups that I am a part of, 
okay um, and then the next step for me is to go over here and then I go export data as a CSV okay and I click on download now and there is my download okay so that is now uh, downloaded to my computer it's in my download so if we go back here and we go over to join groups you'll notice that my join groups is empty and the reason is as I said before Facebook don't allow you to um, auto post to groups um, anymore but there is a workaround because of this system so then we just go on to choose the file uh, and I've just got to go to my downloads and where is that download Join the FB groups uh, so you'll notice I've just got that and then I click on in, oh, select FB account sorry you got to select your FB account so that's my account you got to make sure that it is the same account and then I click on import groups BAM there we go so now I've got um, 30, 30 or so groups that have been uh, added into the system um, and they're all in there now so you can see all my join groups so if I go back to my dashboard um, I'll say I want to create a new campaign okay so I want to create a new campaign what you'll notice is I've got join groups over here I've got Facebook own groups so the difference is these are my groups that I manage these are groups that I have joined and I'm a part of so basically I'm, I'm a part of those groups okay so they've now imported and I can either select all uh, and post to all of them or I can unselect all and I can just choose the ones that I want to I want to post to uh, so that's your importing done and uh, you're all set up and ready to go now with your campaigner in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up your campaign so you can start posting um, all your retargeting links and, and uh, images and links and things into Facebook and start making a lot of money on autopilot so this is Jamie Barclay signing out. Thanks for watching.